Hello, this is Joyce Chesley Hayward with Fusion for Business and your business tip. Following on the theme from Black History Month or the Black History Month, as I mentioned, there is a book by Shamari Wills called Black Fortunes. And it talks about the actual first six African-American millionaires and What's said in that book is that the actual first black millionaires lived during the antebellum and reconstruction area just before the civil war. And they were, it was a time where black codes and free states and the Fugitive Slave Act made being high profile, wealthy and black dangerous. So some of the earliest persons, you can read more about it, but earliest known African-American to achieve net worth of over a million dollars was William Leidesdorf, if I'm saying that correctly. He lived free in New Orleans in the early 1840s. He was passing as a white man and worked as a naval merchant. When he was outed as a black man, he migrated to California and then a Mexican territory populated with Native Americans and mixed race Mexican nationals. Believe it or not, that's where he went to live in California. He acquired over 30,000 acres of land which turned out to be laden with gold just before the 1849 gold rush. So you can see how he became a millionaire. And I'll just add a few years later, Mary Ellen Pleasant, a free black woman from Massachusetts also migrated to California. She got rich investing in silver and operating boarding houses for the rich bachelors of San Francisco. She used some of her money to fund John Brown's famous raid on Harper's Ferry in 1857. Well, when John Brown was captured, she went into hiding for fear of her life. So there are persons that we can look at who made it, did what they had to do in the midst of struggle, in the midst of segregation, in the midst of a time where it was difficult to even be black. They made it. What are we doing? to make sure we make it and make it better for someone else. Check out the book by Shamari Wills. So more information about Black Fortunes. This is Joyce Chesley Hayward, Fusion for Business and your business tip.